Hey guys, Thomas Brush here, or at least uh, maybe my new name is um, Short Hair Thomas Brush. I know a lot of you are probably mad I cut my hair. Man, I, I'm done with long hair. I quit long hair. And that's actually what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about David Whaley, who quit YouTube. Um, David Whaley is a great friend of mine, and he is a <laughs> brilliant uh, game developer. He made a game called The First Tree, very successful game. He also made a, a program called Game Dev Unlocked, which is an online school for game developers. His YouTube channel blew up faster than mine. Um, he, he started it way later than I did, and he just blew up. He's so good at YouTube content. But in this video, he talks about how he's just completely burnt out, exhausted, um, how he's managing and handling way too much. Um, and he, in, in this video, you guys should watch it, the link is below. In this video, he talks about how he, he feels like he was lighting himself on fire to get every, uh, make everyone else feel warm. Um, and I definitely, definitely, definitely sympathize, sympathize with that. In fact, the, the moment I started doing this was somewhere around the PewDiePie video. I did a, a video for PewDiePie. Um, and in that video, or it was really a series of live streams for two weeks. I made, uh, his audience came over to my channel. I was really lucky, thank you to Felix for allowing me to do this, but his, his subscribers came to my channel and I just sat there suffering, live streaming, making a game for PewDiePie while his audience told me what to do, right? And actually the game kit that I, I used to make that game, that game kit is below if you guys wanna download that. It's totally free, no gimmicks here, my treat to you. Click below to download that game kit. Uh, you could do it right now uh, while you're listening to me ramble on here. Um, you could download that, use it however you want, it's totally free. Um, that's how I felt. And I gotta admit, I haven't felt a relief or a release since then. And that was like 2018. So I know exactly what David is talking about here. David is talking about the feeling of constantly um, being observed and making mistakes in front of people. At least that's what I'm assuming he's talking about here. Making mistakes, offering advice to thousands of, well, students. I have 3,000 students on my online school and also, you know, 200, I think 80,000 subscribers. I could be wrong here. I, can't, I don't even know. But 280,000 subscribers. People are always watching you and it wears on you. You know what's funny? In my head, I'm like, I, I think that I can just turn off the, the YouTube um, audience in my brain. So it's like, I'll go to bed tonight. I'm just gonna think about my games. I'm just gonna be an artist, but I'm not gonna worry about my audience and what they think, right? But the truth is, I don't think it's possible. I don't think it's possible to turn off what you guys think about me. And I'm curious if that's true about David. Ultimately, at the end of the day, making an indie game is really hard. It's really exhausting. You wear a million hats. And on top of that, to say, you know, I'm going to also do devlogs. And I'm also going to worry about what my audience thinks about me. Um, or I'm willing to at least see what that feels like and try it out, dip my toes. What you realize is, it's, it's, for most people, it's a little too much to bear. It's a little too much to bear. So a lot of you might envy David. Some of you might envy me, despite the fact that my content is not nearly as good as David's. But I just wanna say this. I am very lucky. I am super blessed and it's actually because of David. David's actually guided my career in a lot of ways he doesn't realize. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, I'm, I am exhausted. I'm burnt out. Um, I love what I do. I love you guys. Uh, I love my games. I love making games. I love my online school that I run. It's like my time is sort of split 50-50 between making games and teaching how to do it. But I am burnt out. And so that's why I want to say I'm quitting YouTube too. No, I'm kidding. Obviously, I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> not yet. Or, you know, the, the thing is, is eventually you need to pick and choose what you're going to do. Okay. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to meet with entrepreneurs that aren't really in my industry. Uh, one of the greatest business decisions, decisions I ever made was because I met with an owner of a pizza restaurant. And I just met with him and he was like, why do you wanna meet with me? I make pizza, you make video games. And I said, well, I don't know, I just feel like I should get to know you. Because ultimately I love getting to know people who are targeted. 
And that's something I struggle with. Maybe that's something you guys struggle with. Maybe that's something that David struggles with. Being targeted, okay? Ultimately, at the end of the day, you need to figure out, eventually, you need to figure out how to marry what you're good at, what you love, what you're really passionate about. Marry that with what is profitable. If you could figure that out, you're gonna be a very successful game developer and entrepreneur. And that's what this guy who made pizzas did. He's very successful. I also met with a, a guy who runs a, a pest control company. And he was like, Thomas, why do you want to meet with me? And it was so funny because at the end of that conversation, do you know what the theme of the conversation was? But the conclusion was? The conclusion was exactly what David just did here. And that is eventually you need to figure out what you're doing. Okay? Let me tell you what I do. And a lot of you probably do this. I know Jonas Tyroller does this. Danny does this. Blackthorn Prod. Noah at Black, Blackthorn Prod. We do game development, but we also talk about it and we create video content, YouTube content, social media content. A lot of us run online programs as well in schools. And a lot of you might say, well, that's because Thomas, you're supplementing your income and you need those online schools. No, I really don't. And I know that David doesn't either. We don't need the income from our schools. We just do it because we enjoy it. It provides income. I'm very, very lucky that it does, but we don't need it. So eventually you need to figure out how to just target, get targeted, get focused. Ultimately focus on what it is you love. And I'm so inspired by David here because he's being honest and open and he's telling us, I just, I love making games more than I do influencing. So at the end of the day, one of them is eventually going to win guys. Some of you do devlogs, some of you do online courses, some of you do assets, you develop assets, some of you make games. A lot of us do all of that. I do all of that. And at the end of the day, you can't be torn in so many directions. You've eventually got to figure out what you want to do. And so really, at the end of this video, I just want to say thank you to David. Uh, goodbye to David. Um, he and I are probably going to talk a lot in private because I'm that cool. Um, <laughs> no, but really, like, I just want to say goodbye to David. So let's all leave uh, some applause emojis below in the comments. And um, just let, no, let David know that the decision that he made to go full-time game dev was the right move. Um, I think it was. I think it was. And I know how David feels. Um, for those of you who envy David, or maybe you envy me, envy is not the right word, maybe you just aspire to do what we do, I do wanna let you know that every night before bed, I'm tempted to, 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 to have a glass of wine or take some Benadryl, right? <laughs> Something to calm me down. And I'm being honest with you guys about that. Because it's, it's silly stuff, right? Just, you know, basically I can't sleep because I always feel this weight and this burden um, sort of on my shoulders to not only make indie games because I know that I'm good at it. I know that I'm a really good storyteller. I know that I was gifted. I was born with the gift to tell stories, make indie games like David was. But I was also born with the gift of teaching and training and creating video content and talking. I'm really good at ta talking to a camera. And that weight um, of knowing that I'm doing both, it keeps me up at night. And it's silly because it's not like I'm even worried about anything. It's just always running. I, I know how much I have to do um, to keep my business running. So don't, um, don't, don't, bite, don't bite off more than you can chew, guys. Okay. Um, try your best to stay focused. Always tell the truth. That's what my dad used to say. When in doubt, tell the truth. And what is the truth in this situation? The truth is if you love something, if you know you were born with a gift or a forte, pursue that. At the end of the day, pursue that. And I have to tell myself that now. Um, at the end of the day, I need to pursue what I enjoy because I don't want to live a lie. Truth is, I love both. I love YouTube. I love games. I love teaching. 
I love telling stories. I love art. I love music. I love it all. But I got to figure out which one I love the most. And I'm not, I'm not sure yet. But David is. So let's, let's say goodbye to David. Uh, let's uh, subscribe to him below and leave a comment. And guys, if you're looking to get into indie game development, do remember that you can download that 2D game kit. The same one that sort of started my career. I want to give that to you guys for free. Um, so anyways, cheers to David. All the best to you, buddy. That's it. This is a glass. This is like a, a glass of uh, wine. Cheers. <laughs> Click. Bye. <laughs>